Now only on to the latest solution to Chicago's skyrocketing shoplifting problem, and it has four legs and a tail. He's a gun sniffing dog. Our Tara Molina live from Neiman Marcus on the Mag Mile. Tara, a dog found a gun there and that got you digging. Exactly. Eventually connecting with a local security company that provides those same services. And they say with the ever increasing crime in this area and the arrest at this store, their phone is now ringing off the hook. Boss the Labrador likes going after a tennis ball just like any other dog. But with hundreds of hours of training behind that harness, he's capable of a whole lot more. Walk. Here's the gun. Watch this. He signals quickly, focusing in on exactly where the gun was placed in the backpack. We know firsthand that canines is the biggest deterrent out there, period. Tim Clancy leads Action Canine Security and more than 70 trained dogs like Boss. Here for more than 30 years, they work with the city and have security contracts with Chicago institutions like McCormick Place and Navy Pier. But the calls they're getting now? Uh, we, we are overwhelmed with business. From retailers and other private businesses. Uh, we're getting calls one after another because of one dog incident. He's talking about this. 24-year-old Derek Latham arrested just outside Neiman Marcus earlier this month thanks to a gun-sniffing dog providing store security. Latham is now charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon, retail theft, and possession of a controlled substance. A spokesperson for the department store told us in a statement, quote, in addition to Neiman's full-time in-store security, we're now working with a private security firm and its canine unit for weapons detection. It's not a local firm, not this unit, but the calls they're getting now aren't for services they haven't provided in the past. Clancy told me they worked in the Macy's that left Water Tower Place for a while, and now? So there's a big trend here about how to protect your stores so you don't leave Chicago. They could be part of continued ramped up private security efforts we're tracking across the city, with crime continuing to spike. We found that retail theft is up 145% here on the near north side this year, with more than 330 cases, making it the hardest hit area of the city. We're bringing something more to the table to deter anyone, including up to three, four, and five individuals from coming in and smash and grab. And Clancy told me they're working on plans right now where they could have one team work in multiple stores in a day. We'll continue to track that. But for now, you can find more of our coverage of this issue and the solutions that have been put in place to try to fix it in this story on our website right now. Reporting live in the city's Mag Mile, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.